hello guys and welcome to another video from exospace gaming guys in today's video i'm going to be teaching you how to generate a virtual background for your webcam in streamlabs obs i've noticed that there are not a lot of videos about this and hopefully this is going to help you to do this because i've been looking myself on a on a on a way to do it without a green screen okay so what you guys need to do is just go to your browser okay and search for x split vcam okay uh, it's gonna be the first link that pops up here I'm gonna also put it in the description just in case so click this and you're gonna have here download, download vcam uh, in case this is not gonna show up just go to products and select x split vcam okay perfect um, this will work on any camera that you guys have currently I'm using a Logitech C922 Pro which uh, is considered by most streamers one of the best uh, camera for you know uh, streamers and whatever you guys want to do o o obviously um, the reason I'm mentioning which camera I'm using is because if you buy this camera they're gonna send you in the pack a X split um, license so it's gonna be like a two-year uh, license that you can guys use but it's not necessarily like you, if you guys like the app you can also probably buy it from from the website it's probably not gonna be very expensive okay so once you downloaded this I already downloaded it so just install install it uh, follow the steps it's gonna take a couple of seconds uh, just go back to your main screen and this is how your app is gonna look like okay then just double click on here gonna take a couple of seconds there we go uh, the light is not very good now but I'm gonna show you how to do a couple of seconds because it's already dawn outside so the first thing you need to do is just go here in the corner show settings and here make sure you have it selected on your GPU yeah or processor whatever you guys like but I found it to be much better if you use it if you use your uh, your video card okay press here and make sure you select the highest quality control perfect after this just go to your settings just close this go, go to your settings and make sure you do all the light settings and all that so here you're gonna have a backlight uh, it's gonna make a huge difference when you have uh, good lights in your camera the white balance uh, which by experts is gonna be considered to be you know set set up manually I put it on auto because I'm not <laughs> it's not the case here I'm not the expert okay uh, and camera control here is gonna give you a few options for zoom focus exposure and all that uh, the exposure I suggest you to uh, put it on minus six so uh, deselect auto okay as you see now it's much better okay and I'm gonna show you how to add the virtual background that we were talking about and also this uh, DSLR effect that you see um, I have this little blurry background which uh, we all like because it's mainly focusing on on ourselves uh, it's very easy to do so once you guys got here this uh, meter here is gonna help you to add the quantity of blur that you guys want so here is gonna be like no blur and I suggest you to keep it around 12 this is gonna give you just enough perfect uh, blur okay when you go closer to the camera as well it's gonna focus okay everything is nice and smooth uh, if you want a virtual background again uh, make sure behind you there are the right colors uh, I think it will probably look better if you have um, like you know not not so many colors behind you like my sofa as you guys can see it's red so this is not really helping so if you have like an empty wall maybe this is gonna work probably much better okay and then just select one from here let's say I want to select this one and there you go this is a uh, virtual background as you can see there are little uh, glitches there and there because because of the fact that I don't have too much light right now in the camera in the in the in the room and also uh, is not uh, 
the colors behind me doesn't don't, don't really help but when you're gonna have this in the streamlabs as a small camera there is gonna is gonna help you to uh, to have a good good quality decent quality okay uh, but again don't forget about this so the, sh the settings highest between high and highest is not gonna be a massive difference but you can already see the quality is going down the headphones are like disappearing and all that okay and every time you do a settings you, you need to go back and do do the settings again okay so exposure deselect auto and you already can see you have a much better lightning okay lighting perfect yeah you can see there is a little little glitch but uh, this is gonna be fine when you're gonna have enough enough light in the room that's why I like to use the original which is that blurry effect that as you can see there is no absolutely no uh, no glitch or absolutely anything uh, perfect so the way you put it in the Streamlabs OBS you're gonna do it like that so just click on your uh, Streamlabs okay as you guys probably know again see this is not gonna be set up here as you guys probably know you're gonna have to add a video capture device in order to use your camera okay so if you don't know how to do that just press the plus button and select a video capture okay this is gonna be your webcam once you did this is gonna show up like that you're gonna you can you know you can name it however you guys want just uh, right click on it properties and then guys the most important thing is here so the device it must be set on X split video cam not on your basic C922 Pro or whatever uh, webcam you guys using okay so select this and then you have a few options here to make your uh, camera look better so the resolution I like to put it on custom with the resolution of uh, 720p with a 60 frames per second if you do a full screen camera you can also select the full HD which is 180p as you know okay but this is gonna work on 30 frames per second depends what uh, camera you guys have uh, video format color space color range make sure it's full enable buffering and guys uh, there might be a small problem when you first set up this the, uh, the video might not show up when this happens just close the close the app and close the stream labs as well and open it again if it still doesn't show just modify your video format it's gonna show here any or RGB just select any of them and try again and then it's gonna it's gonna come it's gonna come in for sure okay what we need to do now the light is going off even more uh, what we're gonna do now is just again go on properties and configure video and now it's gonna bring you the X split up okay and then do the settings again you're not gonna have to do this all the time as you can see it's already much much better I'm gonna put it on 6 on minus 4 sorry minus 4 minus 5 it depends what kind of light you guys have okay perfect um, make sure you activate the backlight yeah this will be the difference so you can see now and now so it's gonna bring a little bit of light from the back make sure you apply okay and that's it so now you got your camera set up done uh, again configure video you can add this if you want yeah okay again you need you need very good light in order to use the the background so I suggest you guys buy some uh, light panels and all that if you want to do it in low light okay but I like to keep it on original this blurry effect and there is absolutely no glitch it's really really smooth and nice okay perfect um, this will be pretty much it about this I hope you guys will enjoy the video if this video helped you in any way just please make sure you hit that subscribe button if you like to uh, you know support my channel I'm brand new here I don't have a lot of experience but I'm trying to share with you whatever I discover um, so again hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you if it, if it helped you and if you like to support my channel okay uh, we'll see you in the next video guys thank you so much for watching and take care okay bye bye guys